me what happened with the dog. I was walking home from school and across the street, and a lady was coming up towards me with a dog and baby stroller. And so I, she had a baby stroller. That was this lady here? Yes. Mm -hmm. And while I was getting closer, the dog was like jumping around and making growling noises, and she was saying, don't do it to the dog. And while I... She said, don't do it? Was she holding on to the leash? Yeah, she, well, like she had the leash on her hand while she was holding on to the I'm, I'm sorry, Your Honor, that is false. Just a second, don't interrupt. Okay. Go ahead. And while I passed her, the dog went around and behind her and bit me on the leg. And what did you do? Did you go home? Yes. Did the lady say anything to you? No. Did you say anything to the lady? No. Did you say your dog bit me? No. How did you find her if you hadn't said anything to her? It was my dad. Your dad found her? Did you go to the doctor? Yes. And you had to get a shot? Yes, ma'am. Tell me where they gave you the shot. On both arms and both legs. And did you have to go back for shots more than once or just once? I would have, but they found the dog. So you got four shots that day? Yes. Do you remember what the dog looked like? Yes, it was white and fluffy. It's like medium size. Had you ever seen this lady or the dog before? No. Okay. You can go back there. So you can stand next to your dad in case I have any other questions for you. Mr. Nunez, yes. how did you find Ms. Rodriguez? The next day after, there was another incident, and then that individual we had spoken to that was in search of that dog also realized that it was the exact same dog that had bitten him. We received a phone call that following day on December 9th, and she informed us of it. Who called you? The individual from the Pflugerville Police Department made the phone call to me that next day. day that they had believed. They did find that dog due to the fact of another individual being bitten. By that dog? By the same dog, yes. On what date was the other incident? That was on December 9th, in which that second incident occurred. And the incident involving your son was on the 8th? On the 8th, the day before. And then we've got documents of both of those incidents. I'd like to me. see both. Your Honor, that, that was hearsay. That was actually, my mom was walking the dog, and the dog, there was a pit bull Listen unleashed. To me. Don't interrupt. Yes, ma'am. This is both. Both, Unless yes. You, the first is if ourselves. If I ask you a question, the is but don't tell me what happened with your mom and what's hearsay. Sure. I actually know what hearsay is. You got it. We're speaking of the dog that's bitten two different individuals, not who is walking it the second day. Your Honor, may I point out that on that record of my mother-in-law with the second incident, it shows that the other dog was not on a leash and was coming towards my mother-in-law and our dog. And we actually called 911 that day. My mother did. Just a second. Were either one of you there? No. No, ma'am. Now I'll hear you. Go ahead. Tell me the story. Okay. May I approach the board? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So it was December 8th at 2 o'clock in, in the afternoon. The school was being... Uh, Sorry. Did she say Sunday? I just listened to me. Don't interrupt her. Okay. It was December 8th. It was 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I was going down Bishop's Gate. I saw that Samuel was coming, so my sister is very afraid of dogs, so I know to be respectful of others who are walking near us. And so I stopped to the left side with my dog on my left and on my right hand with uh, the stroller. I directed Samuel to go around us. And Just a second. Why would you do that? No, I, I didn't, no, I didn't no, direct no, no, no. Just listen, listen to me. I just stood Stop. there. And you have to know, you're talking to somebody who's had dogs for 50 years mm -hmm. and who walks dog on a leash when I'm outside. Why would you direct or suggest that Sammy go around the dog? I directed him I, by standing there. I didn't tell him verbally. I just stood there to the side of him so he knew that he could pass Don't tell us. me what he knew. He passed you. Yes, he did. And? And we walked, up, we kept walking, and then my dog started barking as we had already walked off. And? And I turned around, and my dog was just barking, and the kid didn't you know, just react. Just a second. Just a second. Be very careful. You know, when you start to say things mm -hmm. that you've been practicing in your mind. Yes. To say, but as you actually articulate them, they sound stupid. Okay. Okay? They sound stupid. Then you, you're sort of getting away from yourself. And that's what's happening to you right now. Because now you were turning around because the dog started to bark. And as you were turning around, you were going to tell me what happened? As you were turning around... As I turned around, I pulled my dog back and Samuel just walked off. He didn't react. He didn't tell me anything. So I didn't assume anything. And I carried on with my walk. And that's what happened. Well, it's... <laughs> I don't want to hear you, sir. You weren't there. Okay. 